Okay guys, I have an article pulled up here talking about the pros and the cons of joining Real Brokers. So I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons. I'm gonna go through the list and then maybe just share a little bit about of my opinion, but I'll try to keep it quick. So the first con is no face-to-face -face interaction. That's true. You are not going to have in-person meetings. You're not going to have in-person trainings at Real Brokers. The next one's a pro and that is lower caps and splits. Real broker from what I have seen and I've talked to a lot of agents and seen a lot of different brokerages has the most desirable real estate commission splits, cuts, fees, all of that in the entire real estate industry. So that's definitely a pro. Con, no broker's office access. That's true. So if you wanna work from the office, that's not an option here unless you like lease or rent your own office space. I work from home, I'm a mom. That's not really a con for me. Also, if you are wanting to meet with your clients, my clients are most of the time not in my area. So that doesn't affect me either. I meet them over Zoom. However, if a client does want to meet up in person, I will meet at a coffee shop. The next thing they have on their article is a pro, and that is four ways to earn stock at Real. Real really likes to reward their agents. Instead of giving them like awards, they'll give them stock for a lot of different things, honestly. Um, you do uh, so many different things that are just like natural milestones in your business, they'll give you stock for it. So that's kind of a nice perk. The next con is Real brand is not recognizable. So that's true, it's not a brand like Remax, Century 21, Berkshire Hathaway, Caldwell Banker, one of these huge franchises that everyone knows. This is something my husband and I weren't sure how it would look when we switched brokerages initially because we've been with a big franchise, well-known brand our entire real estate career, but we quickly noticed that literally no one cares what brokerage you're with. Not at least none of our type of clients. Maybe people cared about that in the eighties, but people nowadays really don't care about that. I have never once had one of my relocation buyer clients that comes from YouTube ask me what brokerage I'm with. And Spencer either has never, he works with a lot of for sale by owners. He has never lost a listing because of the brokerage he's with. The next pro of real brokerage is huge revenue share potential. Real is not the first brokerage to offer a revenue share program for attra attracting agents. Keller Williams adopted a similar program in the early 2000s and has led to them growing into the lar largest brokerage in the world by agent count. But in my opinion, Real has perfected the revenue share program and has the most profitable revenue share program. If you wanna talk about Real and see if it might be a good fit for you or if you just have questions, shoot me an email. I'd love to get a Zoom call set up with you.